This is Disaster City, Texas, a real-world apocalypse training ground. Disaster City really replicates those characteristics of a true disaster, so we can throw all of the obstacles at a task force or a rescue team and make it as real as we possibly can. Today, this crew is working with a powerful tech ally. When they respond to future disasters, they'll rely on this app called GeoSuite to save lives. I've been trying to find a technology solution that was enabled us to gather the information that we needed and then also could be seen and also digested. We were able to take and utilize GeoSuite real time in Moore, Oklahoma, and we saw its great benefit in that situation where we could see our two teams moving through the field. We knew how many houses they searched, the outcome of those searches, and we're able to see all of that immediately and relay that information to be able to give very accurate information back to uh, the fire department at Moore to say this is what we've done, this is what we found, and it saved a tremendous amount of time. And when we talk about saving time, what we're really talking about is saving lives. Today's drill will give them the practice they need and feedback on how this tech can be tweaked. On the crew's disaster to-do list, a massive chemical catastrophe and the aftermath of an EF-5 tornado, exactly like the one that hit Moore, Oklahoma in 2013. The task force is made up of 70 people. Um, we have many disciplines. We have rescue, we have search, we have a medical component. We also have uh, search teams with Canine. Always our first order of business is to get the survivors out as quickly as possible. GeoSuite will help to keep track of all those boots on the ground in real time. We're going to evaluate what we found and then prioritize. Rescue, call out if you can hear me. We got to go any deeper than we need to start bringing another team in. How old are you, sir? 63, okay. Are you allergic to anything? Okay, guys, notify your victim that we're going to have a team come. we got to continue our recon search of the building. Keeping track is Suzanne Brown, team manager with Texas Task Force One. The unique things about GeoSuite is that it is a smartphone application, and we are actually utilizing individuals' own devices. It's a BYOD, bring your own device, and we can load GeoSuite on those devices. We can enter the information, and then we can actually log in on the, the browser side and see that information as it's input real time by the users on the ground. So this technology really is going to bring first responders and search and rescue teams from the pen and paper domain all the way into the current century with smartphones and computers and the, the di digital information on the screen. Typically, if we're reporting information back every hour, so you're losing potentially 20%, even 30% of your time collecting that information and sending that up. At more, that went away because we were able to see all of this real-time information. An operation that initially looked like it would take a couple of days to finish, we were able to finish in a day. Our goal always is to do the most good for the most amount of people in the least amount of time. GeoSuite helps us keep track of what we're doing. It's nearing the end of a long but successful day, and GeoSuite is helping this team with one final task, roll call. Brian Lewis? Yeah. Derek? Yes, sir. Kenneth? Yep. I believe that there's a broader market for GeoSuite. I really think that this is, um, it, it, it is a solution for a lot of responders in a lot of different uh, modalities, uh, not necessarily just urban search and rescue, but also um, it could be used in wildland fire. It could be used um, in, in pretty much any kind of a situation. And that's going to change the game for all search and rescue teams around the world.